So it says I got a right triangle here. So I'm just going to draw my standard right triangle that I usually do. It says X is the right angle. The A and the D don't matter where you put them, you'll get the same answer. It says angle A is 30 degrees. That's this angle up here for the picture that I drew. It says XD is 204. So that's going to go right there. And it says find the length of AD. I wrote over top of it. AD to the nearest as well. Nearest type of angle, sorry. Hypotenuse is over there. Opposites over there. Adjacent is over there. I know the opposite. I would like to know the hypotenuse. All right, so that means this is a sine problem. So I'm going to set my problem up and fill in what I know. So sine of the angle equals the fraction. The angle is 30. The opposite is 204. I do not know the hypotenuse. So I'm going to put an X on there. I'm going to take the calculator and put in sine of 30. Now, this is rare, but the sine of 30 is exactly 0.5. So this time, I just get 0.5. There's no dots, no long decimal. So I cross multiply, and I'm going to get 204 equals 0.5x, and I divide by 0.5. And I get x equals... Uh, sorry, hang on. Actually, it was 408. There's no decimal. Now, this says nearest tenth of a foot. Um, this would probably never happen on a test or something, an exam that you would get because they don't usually do this. Um, it'll happen in problems I do once in a while. That doesn't really have the tenth. Technically, it should say this. Okay, now, I would never be evil enough to, if this happened on a uh, test that I gave you, you know, probably by accident, so I probably didn't mean to do it. Um, I wouldn't take off if you didn't take point zero. Um, when you go to higher level classes, especially if you take an ID class, it will matter. Um, so make sure you read it. Um, it. I mean, definitely it shows that you read the pattern really well if you do add the point zero on the 